up, buddy Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans. Thank you today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Drunk Bullet Chapter 1. But before I get into this, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm, and it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And uh, we ain't sponsored by Shueisha, and uh, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little puppy kitty who's somewhere around here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our cash up and pay pal. Links are in the description box below. So, oh, based on this first page, what we're seeing here, this series is set in World War One, um, which is rare to get, first of all. And uh, ooh, there's potential to be had here, especially if. Uh, if it's at the tail end and um, and this particular soldier goes back to the U.S., you know your history. Oh, oh, this th there's a lot a lot of potential to be had here. I'm really excited for this series. Um, so let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. And miss the barrage of explosions and gun fog. Oh, I want a drink. What? Um, the trenches of World War One somewhere in France. Dude, this art looks great, by the way. Are there better things to do if you make it back home, like getting a girl? You, um, wait. You blackguard, it'd be rude to expect a girl to match my <laughs> level of alcohol tolerance. Oh, I hope, oh, I hope this is, I hope this is what I think it is. Please, please tell me this is, we're going to see this mofo, um, go back to the U.S. during Prohibition. Oh god, I, I need this. I fucking need this. <laughs> Even someone like you know chivalry? I fear nothing. As soon as this operation's um, over, I'll drink as much as I like. Oh god. But uh, before I forget to, I do not blame this man. Imagine you being in the trenches all, um, like, day after day. With no alcohol, like, especially you know, if there was any alcohol, no decent alcohol. Dude, I do not blame him. As soon as this operation is over, I'm going to get my hands on a decent drink. As soon as this operation's over, I can go home and drink. Um, as soon as this operation's over, when this operation's over, this operation's over, once this operation's over, this operation's over, this operation's over. No! Post-World War demobilization! No! It's just down to the violation of prohibition! Oh, this is going to be... Yes, I am here for this. So closed for violation of National Prohibition Act by order of United States uh, District Court. All persons are forbidden to enter the premises or, um, uh, without order uh, from the United States uh, Marshal. Dude, I am so, so here for this. This manga is going to be amazing. Like, for us, um, if you are a history buff... Like I am to an extent. Like this is gonna be good. I I love this, if, especially since around this time period specifically, we don't get that much content from this. And especially, um, I'm referring to specifically um, in manga. We it's rare to get stuff like this. Um, and I think in like oh, I would say it in uh, um, in television nowadays too. Western television, they don't do a lot of prohibition stuff nowadays either. Uh, but you gotta, um, you gotta imagine, if you're in Japan, you don't know as about the prohibition or American history like we do. So this is a huge treat for them. Oh, this is gonna be, oh, I'm so excited for this. Takaguchi, I, oh, I, I am so excited to see how we're gonna get speakeasies and stuff like that. Oh, before I forget, um, speaking of this time period... Um, a series that I'm really looking forward to because I love, love this book in particular um, is The Great Gatsby. I cannot wait to get the manga adaptation for The Great Gatsby. And once it comes out, you bet your ass I will be covering it because The Great Gatsby is one of my favorite books of all times. I love that book. Uh, 
The sweet smell of gunpowder, the sparkle of glass. Come one, come all, witness this action-packed gem. And this chapter's titled Prohibition. Oh, this is, oh God, this will be so good. United States, New York. Hmm, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna say this, uh, Takaguchi. Like, the first few pages, I was getting, and this is a problem I've had with Gachi Yakuda, but I think the anime, based on what I've seen with the anime for Gachi Yakuda, I think I, I'm gonna get what I want out of it here, but here's what I mean. Takaguchi, I need more, like, grit from this in terms of the clothing. The color page looks great, though. I'm down with this color page, but, like, on um, the next page after, I need a little bit more. But other than that, this looks great. So this is Garrett Hopper, who we're following, is it, um, the ex-serviceman. All right, the day I've waited for has finally come. Just the one thing uh, to do today. Find a nice, quiet bar where I can forget about gunfire and bombshell. Bob shells, maybe the type of joint with classical music, and have myself a lovely whiskey on the rocks. I'm gonna drown myself in an amber dream. That sounds amazing. Hey, haven't you seen the papers? I wasn't gonna say anything um, since it's a shame, but oh, he's gone already. I don't care without um, in the world that fella. And now back to the present. Oh, prohibition act. Oh, what's a prohibition act? So I can't get a drink. Oh, ridiculous. People have been drinking since the dawn of time! Exactly! It's like... It's like the whole thing with prostitution. People have... And all this other crap that we've been seeing with prudes. People have been fucking since the dawn of time. Like... What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, off the clock now. Uh, time for a drink. Um... Construction guys going for a round? Uh, going for a round? Alright, time to liven things up. I'll show you fellas something ripping. Here it comes. Jeff's gonna chug. What the... So, um, so things are just as usual? Paint remover, chug, chug. Um, isopropyl alcohol paint remover. That, that's gross, chug, chug. So even in 2014, fake vodka containing um, a paint stripper was uh, confiscated in the UK. Do not attempt at home will lead to certain death. Dude. Dude, wh what? What? <laughs> Hey, you know what? You gotta get your alcohol somehow. See, here's the thing. Um, I gotta point this out. Because the timing of this manga is everything. Because you have motherfuckers trying to ban porn right now, okay? And it's like, dude, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna stop people from getting porn. You're not. You're not gonna stop kids because they're trying to do it for the kids. You ain't gonna stop kids from getting porn. You're not. Even before the internet... If you are my age, you know this for a fact. At my age, you're older. God damn it, I'm fucking old. We had way... Hell, even my, people my age with the dawn of the internet. Um, we were able... I was able to get porn. And this was when the internet was just... When dial-up was still a thing. And this was when uh, online porn sites were just starting. Like, we were able to get porn. Like, whether it was magazines or whatnot. You're not going to stop it. You can't stop it. You're not going to. We will find, people will find a way to get porn whether you like it or not. I can't stand, these fucking Karens piss me off. Ugh, the crystal fascists really, really piss me off. They really do. They don't understand it. And these same people are saying the same things, um, the same people saying the same things about anime and manga. They're saying it's bad for the children. It's, Motherfucker, you ain't gonna do even if you try and get it banned, you even if you manage it, it thank God. Thank God for the US Constitution. You will never stop it. We we fans, nah, we have our ways. We all have our ways of doing it. We have all our ways of getting it. You ain't gonna stop it. Even with the Constitution protecting it. I'm just saying. But like this here, like like people see this proves. People will find a way to get what they want, to uh, get their vices. The black, also, it's something called the black market. Look at, um, look at weed. Weed, weed was going through the black market anyway. It, and look at, the, you know what? Best example of this, okay, is, uh, is fentanyl and pain medication. Um, cause, uh, 
that's kind of why, how um, my late significant other, you know, Brian passed away. It's because he couldn't get access to, because uh, uh, he had fibromyalgia and um, chronic pain, he couldn't get access to fentanyl um, because of all these fucking junkies. And I, I know it's ironic because fentanyl is stronger than heroin, but he had to turn to uh, heroin and that's what killed him. I'm just saying, like, and it says here, even it says here about the paint remover that in 29, uh, even in 2014, fake vodka containing a paint stripper was confiscated in the U.S. And do not attempt at home. It will lead to certain, it's like with paint remover, um, it, um, do not attempt at home will lead to certain death. We sit like in other series, we've seen people like drink straight up, um, like uh, cleaning alcohol. It's, it's nuts. People will do what they have to do to get their vices. It, it, especially if they really need it for legitimate reasons like pain. Yeah, Atta boy, what a guy. 1920. So this is the where this is at. This is the start of prohibition. 1920, the start of national prohibition. Immediately after the World One uh, World War One um, armistice, the manufacture, sale, and transportation of all alcoholic beverages was prohibited throughout the United States. Oh, we know how that went. As I said, you ain't gonna stop it. You're not going to stop it. All you're doing, and it's the same as I said with the. Like for, with fentanyl, it's the same thing with uh, um, with Adderall. You you know I'm because I take Adderall for legitimate reasons, because um, I have ADHD. Um, I actually do have ADHD. Uh, I have my way of. I actually haven't I've, ever since I switched brands. I haven't had any problems getting mine. Thank God. But all these fucking junkies are just hurting people like hurting people like me like I've seen people say that um, they've been getting dropped from their psychiatrist because they can't because of because um, of this because of these assholes anyways however there was no way a drinker could endure such dire straits gaining rapid popularity was crude bathtub and other harmful substitutes yeah see um, it's no exaggeration to say that during this time it was near impossible for common folk to enjoy a high quality drink well, I was hospitalized and my release delayed. What on earth was happening back home? Uh, boss, so you were dying um, of thirst at the front lines only to make it back home uh, in time for prohibition? On top of that, you got yourself covered in paint. You got, you sure got the short end of the stick, bo uh, boyo, for sure. Um, your luck ran out as soon as you met uh, Clumsy Paul here. Have you found a decent job yet? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just a layabout. <laughs> If you want a drink, uh, I'll split mine with you. Uh, got some homemade stuff on me. No, thank you, huh? Cheap alcohol isn't worth drinking after surviving the Great War. I won't drink anything that isn't on par with the war to end all wars. Don't let me in with you booze hounds. But we are the same. Nobody can get good liquor around here anymore. Ooh, hello, wifey. I'm sorry for the trouble my brother caused you. It's on me. Please accept it as my apology. Oh, you've done enough. I'm starting to run low on dishes. Uh, no way. I don't want to be called a freeloader. They're siblings? Uh, yeah. Older sister's, um, named, uh, Delphi. Her younger brother's Paul. Their parents owned the store, but they passed away. Now those two, uh, run the place together. It's tough work, but, uh, they're good kids. I see. You had it, don't you? What, uh, whiskey? Oh, yeah. What? What are you talking about? No way. We're in the middle of prohibition. No, it's here. I can smell it. Um, that's the rich aroma of well-aged whiskey soaked in oak wood. It's somewhere in the store in this room. Without a doubt, you've got whiskey. Oh, he, he knows. Cut it out. We inherited this place from our parents. So don't go running your mouth. If the cops get suspicious, it'll be a disaster. No intention of spreading false information. They're the same thing. Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Welcome. What would you like today? Bread and water, please. Oh. oh, there's the whiskey. Mm. You always enjoyed drinking with your wife, didn't you? With deepest sym sympathies, this is in her honor. So you dare see some drinks. You better fess up before I call the cops. That's a dirty move. We got our reasons, okay? We don't charge for it. Um, My sister's idea. The prohibition just started, you know. This grease period of a year before it actually goes into effect. So we still have all the liquor from before. Only manufacturing, sales, and transportation are prohibited. Ah! They, they found the loophole. It's not illegal if you give it out for free. It's not illegal if you give it out for free! They found the loophole! We don't want 
the attention, so we just say we haven't gotten any. Ooh! Ooh! Those sneaky mofos! Ho-ho, oh, in that case, but you still can't have any. We've decided that the remaining stock will only be given to regular customers. If you want to drink, you'll have to properly invest in our place first. Wouldn't be fair to everyone who's been coming here for decades. Go into the bank. No, I said you can't buy any. Um, it's not about shelling out more money. That's right. If you sell any, your sis will get pinched. Hmm? What? Oh, 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 what are you doing? It's a soldier who's just returned home. Don't you know? If you're trying to buy whiskey, that makes you my business. Oh, God. I brought this much dough, so you're going to sell me today. Uh, woo! Sell to me today, Delphi. Don't worry. Um, dealing with the black market's my specialty. See, I told you the black market. Um, it's better to leave this type of uh, work to the professionals. See. Oh, his name is Cheech. Oh God. Damn this guy. Dude, that is crocodile right there. That is crocodile in the face. Damn this guy again. Um, what you know him? He's part of a new game that a game that fixes uh, problems with violence. Got this rise of the mafia. Ha Wait, hold on. The mafia started. The Italian mafia really came into effect. I think the rise of the Italian mafia was around this time too, if I remember correctly. You guys, let me, let me know in the comments. I think this was around the time we had the prohibition was around the time the Italian mafia was really starting to make um, uh, make their names known too. I believe, because this is when, um, yeah, this is when we were getting the um, immigration waves, was in the, uh, um, it was, I know it was in the early 1900s, at the turn of the century in the 1900s. Yeah, so yeah, the Italian Mafia should be, yeah, there should be, um, the Italian Mafia should be playing a role in this too. Yeah, 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 okay. Um. He's part of a new gang that makes uh, uh, that fixes problems with, problems with violence. Um, they're not afraid of getting caught or making enemies. If you get in their way, even if you're a big time politician, they'll kill you. Yeah, this is the Italian mafia. That's why he's called Mad Dog Chief. <laughs> Mad Dog Chief. <laughs> Fucking name. Um, hmm? Can't uh, imagine his bites worse than his hair. <laughs> his bites worse than his hair. God. <laughs> I already told you our liquor is no longer for sale. We are keeping what we have left for our patrons. My apologies, but please, uh, but please leave. I can't help but think of uh, um, Clayface right now, but with scars. But I'm sorry, but Clayface. Oh God, Clayface looks so amazing in Suicide Squad Isekai. Which, by the way, I have been requested to cover. I probably, I, I'm thinking it's going to be a Patreon exclusive. The way I'm doing it, yeah. Um, now, no, I don't think this place could afford to give out free liquor for long. That whiskey is just like you. The scrubby store is, was forced on you by your parents. And even if you work hard from morning till night, it reaps little profits. Only the poor from uh, the neighborhood come. You should marry a rich man and be given the wealth you deserve. This kind of life doesn't suit you. You gangster, saying whatever you want just because uh, just you um, think we'll stay quiet. Ooh, don't touch my sister. If you keep hanging around here, th then I... Huh, how admirable. That... Uh, your good-for-nothing brother can even think of pointing a gun at me. Um, Delphi, don't you, uh, Delphi, don't you think your little brother deserves more from you? Um, you want to reserve the good stuff for your patrons? Give me a break. That's just your ego talking. And you're even dragging your brother into this mess? Alcohol is nothing but a money-making tool. No. That's not true. And this liquor should be um, poured into a rich man's tumbler, not this senile old man's glass. Ooh. Ooh, huh? The hell are you doing? It'd be such a waste. Yeah! Huh, that's so. Now that you say it, I guess you're right. It is indeed fine liquor. Well then. It's not your- Yeah! It's not yours. Listen here, pal. Who do you think you're talking to? Ah, <laughs> beats me! Who are you? Yeah! All right, how about I kindly show you? It'd be the end of us uh, trouble boys if uh, we got pushed around by a trench monkey. Ooh, stop it. Can you understand? Um, please just stop. I want to blood spill in my store. You're right. You're absolutely right. It's just liquor. No, wait. Um, Paul, put that down. Why do you have to pull that? Why do you pull that out? Do you really think you can win against the
the gang? I'll tell you uh, where the whiskey is. So let's uh, so let's go, Cheech. Damn. Um, why am I like this? Chicken out. I could have gotten rid of those uh, fellas if I were stronger. Hey, just calm down. How can I? I'm so pathetic. I want to disappear. So what about that bourbon anyway? When did you hear about that? And you definitely were a pushover back there. You were packing heat, but your hands were shaking like a leaf. I was more worried it would accidentally go off. But yeah, I would be worried too. You say, you say that, but there's no way a single soldier could have done anything anyway. No, that ain't true. That's a load of bullshit. And you know, a single soldier could probably take those motherfuckers out. But the thing is, though, going back to what was said about it was just liquor. No, I mean, look at that old guy. And what um and what Delphi was saying about that liquor, like that he used to drink it with his wife every day, like that liquor, like anything really can have some sentimental value. And so, in the case of some liquor, like for example, for for us Jews, I mean, something we do with liquor, like with wine, wine is part of um part of our uh, part of our religion. Like we have wine every um, Friday night. Um, wine is part of our, um, uh, part of the way we, uh, have, um, have Dala to close out, uh, Shabbos. Wine is part of, um, wine is just a huge part of our religion. We use wine for basically everything in terms of our religion. It's, it's that, I know, it's crazy. Us Jews and our wine, it's very, very, very significant. I mean, Christians, you Christians use wine too. Wine is, um, for Christians, wine is the blood of Christ. That's why I thought it was weird in terms of uh, um, prohibition, uh, when prohibition happened. Like, even thinking about it now, it's like, it's crazy that you have Christians like pushing that push prohibition because it's like, dude, wine is considered the blood of Christ. Like, why would you do, you're, ban you're banning your own, you're panning the blood of your own Messiah. That makes no sense. I know it don't affect Jews because uh, Christians, the Jewish immigrants were coming here. So at the time, including my, um, prior to, uh, prohibition, um, my family was coming here actually like two years prior to prohibition. I think it was my family, um, or no, it wasn't two years prior to prohibition. It was, um, earlier than that, I believe. Yeah, it was like in the early 1900s. Yeah, okay. Anyways, your sister is quite something too. Instead of trying to pull in new customers, she kept the leftover liquor for her regulars, which meant losing business. Guess she really couldn't stand up to Cheech. But it, it's a nice place. Yeah. Aww. I mean, they're thinking about all the times, you know, they've had with their family. Yeah, you're right. Even after my parents died, I never felt lonely uh, thanks to this place staying in, uh, staying uh, bustling. Right, from now on, I'll be the one to protect it. Yeah, it's time to train. I won't let um, what went down today happen twice. Not to my precious store, not on my watch. Next time I'll... What's wrong? Oh, shit! It's gone! The, the, it's gone! The gun is gone! What? My self-defense gun, it, it's gone! I always kept it in a place that only Sis and I know. Unless my sister, she's playing to... Oh, shit! What? Say no more. Now we better get uh, go get that drink after all. Dude, is she gonna kill him? So glad you agreed to sell to me. I can't wait to see the goods. Of course, there's still a matter of price. Um, I like my uh, women honest, Delphi. Too, ooh, too bad for you, but the bourbon isn't here. And I have no intention of handing it over to you. Damn, woman! <laughs> Just as I thought, you're a tough gal. Since your place is filled with wall mounts, I, won't, I wouldn't be surprised if you're a decent shot. But I shoot people. I'm used to pointing guns and having them pointed at me. Damn! Like, I mean, he's not, I'm not surprised he's saying this, let's be real. I'm glad I called my boys. I'm sure we'll be able to find a clue or two after a bit of pressure, don't you think? Woo! The hell? Yeah! Who the hell is that? Uh-huh. Oh, and that soldier, yeah! What are you doing here? Let's save it for later. Sis, you always treat me like I'm a weakling, but can you really just expect me to just stand by while my family's being attacked? Yeah! Dude, like... <sighs> Paul, stop! Don't do anything stupid, sir. Why are you getting involved? Yeah, well, I... <laughs> yeah, well, I want to drink, so... 
What? Even when you say drink, you mean the you mean the bourbon? Um, I don't I don't believe it just for that. You're fighting just for your uh for that too, aren't you? I recognize that wise guy's voice. Um, you really want Delphi's bourbon that badly? Well, he just wants a drink, like Glad to know we're in the same line of work. I like talking to someone who understands the value of booze. That could be a gentleman. Why don't we negotiate? How many barrels do you want? I could give them to you a little cheaper than the market price. Like I said, it's not... He don't even give a sh it's, it's more about the booze for him now. I like that it's more than just the booze. It's very... Oh, God. We're, we've seen... Now, I know we've seen series like this before. Where it's more than just like a simple thing now. Uh, you know what? It's kind of like gold. I feel like it's kind of like um, Golden Kamui in that way. Yeah. It's very much like Golden Kamui in this way, isn't it? Like I said, it's not yours. Film full of boys, dude. I like this one a lot. <laughs> See if you can act all high, high and mighty now, soldier. Huh? Ooh. Oh, we settle on some laser rule. So basically, the laser rule is controlling firearms to prevent friendly fire, which can cause accidental injury or death to one's own forces. No way. The soldier fella was, that, uh, was actually the strong... Yeah, he was! He was serving on the fucking front lines! In the trenches! For months on... For God knows how long! Do I even need this? He's bumping them all... <laughs> Do I even need this? He's bumping them all at once! He's moving them all off. Hmm? What's this? War metal? Special alley metal to Tempest Gary for seizing 10 trenches single-handedly. Dude, this is straight up. This is some golden comely shit. This is some golden comely shit. This is some Maroni Kenshin shit, too, if you think about it. This is like the American golden comely and Maroni Kenshin realness happening here. I am so down with this. In recognition of his maelstrom uh, valor. Dude, this is some Roni Kenshin and Golden Kamui realness happening. And I am for, I'm living for this. Damn it, all this just for a drink? Just for one, uh, for the one drink when uh, you're this much of a crack shot? Using your skills for such a uh, piddling uh, thing is ridiculous. Dude, this pill is sick! What? What happened to you? I'm plenty tired of killing. Please just let me enjoy a drink in peace. Ooh. This panel is fabulous where we see him on the battlefield, like, just, like, screaming in agony, like, at all the dead bodies. Or, like, on his knees, what's going on? Oh, dude, and this is really, really giving, like, this feels like the American... Because we've had, because I'm just thinking about it. Golden Connolly did take place after um, the uh, Japanese-Russian War, which was in the early 1900s. And then we have Roroni Kenshin, which was a little bit before that. I feel like where this is taken, I feel like this is like the perfect time for this. I do. I, I am so happy with this. I'm so happy. This is, this definitely, get, I'm curious, are you guys getting the Roroni Kenshin and uh, Golden Kamui vibes that I am? I am happy with this. Oh, he's so happy he's getting his, his drink. Oh, what a beautiful color. What's behind the sweetness of this aroma? Perhaps a touch of pepper? And in the faint distance are those angel, uh, angels I hear. No, but the poetry drink up already. Can you even still smell it? Is it really true? This sap shot up those gangsters? Say, is one glass really all you want? Is there anything more I could do? Thank you, ma'am. One glass is plenty. First glass is always the most delicious. There's no point in drinking good liquor for uh, no reason. Hmm? That same old story. Well, to your health. Oh, this background is beautiful. Yeah, this really does. It really does give the Golden Kamui Roroni Kenshin vibes. What's with this whiskey? It's like the essence of nature condensed down to a glass. That's old uh, tub for you. 
It's made in Kentucky by, uh, by Beam and Hart, which used to be one of the most popular distilleries. They were known for bourbon with an earthy, grain, a grainy flavor and a spicy uh, cinnamon kick. It's a real shame that production got packed in because of the Pro uh, Prohibition Act. This is the flavor of America's good old days. There's no better drink than this to celebrate a man's return from service. So the Beam and Heart Distillery became, uh, oh, so the Beam and Heart uh, um, Distillery became Jimmy Bean, uh, Jim Bean after it, it reopened post-prohibition and is still in business today. So this is, this is Jim Bean. That's awesome. I had no idea such a good whiskey existed. It was worth the hard work uh, to come back. Um, so how about we start over? Um, I'm Paul, um, uh, Foyola, Foyolade, there we go. Can I join you? Uh, I mean, I'm Garrett Hopper. Uh, you could just call me Gary. Already time for the evening paper, huh? Can I see that? What? No! What? Garrett Hopper and Paul Foyolade? What on earth? A wanted poster? Oh, the, the gangsta put it out, huh? That's right, sis, but I don't, I, um, but I don't know why. It's not like Gary killed anyone. I only left a couple of hats. I only left a couple of hats in! Prob uh, probably it's Cheech paying the police under the table. Corruption only got worse since Prohibition started. Yeah! But what's this about Paul? We've got no choice. We'll need to leave uh, New York within the day. Oh, in that case... <gasps> yeah! Let's head to Chicago! You know the saying, a wise man hides a uh, leap in a forest. Smuggling business uh, rampant. Prohibition leads to a massive criminal gathering in Chicago. <gasps> Dude, are we gonna see Al Capone? No, Al Capone was in. Yeah, Al Capone. We might see him here. Uh, Chicago? Absolutely not. That's the most dangerous city in America. Um, exactly. Police will be stretched uh, thin there, so they'll never find us. Plus, they have their, their hands full busting smuggled uh, beer from Canada. It's a side then, Paul. Time for a party. Party? What are you on all of a sudden? Who cares about prohibition? If I'm gonna be on the road anyway, I might as well drink all the delicious booze across America! Fly them up! Dude, this vodka is amazing! I am stoked with this! I am so down! I am so down with this! I love this! I am so down! I love that this is this is very much giving gold this is this is golden comedy this is very much giving co golden comedy um the american version of golden comedy this is golden comedy in the prohibition era i'm so here for it i'm so and with better art too no offense nota but yeah this is golden comedy in the prohibition era i'm so here for this if you, um, yeah, if you are a Golden Comedy fan, this, you will like this manga. I think you'll like this. But yeah, I, I am down with this. I love this era. I really like this a lot. Oh man, this is gonna be good. But, um, I like that, I want, but still, I wonder if we're gonna see Al Capone. That'll be interesting, but yeah, it is, it, 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 but yeah, seeing the corruption, yeah, this is definitely, we're definitely dealing with the Italian mafia here. Oh, for sure. So, then that means, if we're traveling across America, then that means we are going to, um, we definitely are going to be going to Vegas at some point. But yeah, I will. Uh, this really sucks. I really wanted to see, have like at least maybe another chapter or two in New York City. But yeah, I, I hope we spend like a few. I hope Chicago lasts um, at least a few chapters. I really want because I want to see in Chicago. I want to see the speakeasies. I want to see. I want to see it all in Chicago. I do. I think the other place. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think the South would be really fun to go to as well. The South would be very, very... The South, I think, had some really good speakeasies, if I remember correctly. But yeah, in terms of, like, dealing with the Mafia and stuff like that, Chicago would be good, and Vegas will be really, really fun uh, to boot. But let me know what you guys think about this manga. Um, I really... Do you guys... Are you guys getting, like, the Golden Kamui and... Uh, um, uh, Roni Kenshin vibes from it like I am. It's definitely more, at least for me anyway, it's more on the Golden Kamui side of things. 
Um, I really like the era that this is in. I really like the. I really like the um, all the potential we have here. I don't think we've had a manga set in this era before. I really and I really like the comedy we're getting here too. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan saying, love what we're doing. I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, uh, drug bullet content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Find us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.